With the Teacher Web Page template, you have an example of a calendar here on your home page, but it's not a calendar that you can actually edit. So what you need to do is you need to add your own calendar to the Teacher Web Page template, and this actually is a two-step process. The first process is that you need to open a new tab and go to Google and then come into your Google Calendar. So I'm in my calendar settings, and so what I need to do is I need to create a new calendar. On the left side of the page here, I see a little um, menu that says My Calendars, and there's a little triangle that's pointing down at the end of that menu. If I click on that triangle, I can create a new calendar. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to create a calendar for my life science class. So I give my calendar a title, and the other part I need to do in this menu is I need to share this calendar with others. And since I want parents to be able to see it, I need to make sure that this calendar is public by putting a little check mark right here where it says make this calendar public. If I leave the menu below it checked, only students would be able to see this because basically what this is saying is that you have to be logged in with an Antomas Charter School email account in order to see the calendar and I want parents to be able to see it so I have to make it public. So once you have it named and you've shared it and made it public then what you do is click create calendar and you'll get a little message that says are you sure you want it to be public? Yes. And so I have my calendar public here, and it's actually showing up in my menu as this little purple calendar on the left. So the first thing that I did is I created the calendar. That's step one. Step two is that I have to go back to the tab that has my website in it, and I need to add it to this site. So I need to go into editing mode by clicking on the pencil. Here's the gray box that represents the Google Calendar. If I click on it once, the properties gear appears, so I can click on the properties gear. And first what I need to do is I need to display another calendar. It won't let me remove the calendar that's there until I've displayed a new one. So I'm going to click display another calendar. I am presented all of the calendars that I have access to, but I need to find the one I just created called life science class. There it is. So I put a check mark next to it and press select. And now, if I look up here at the top, I have Mr. Wood's class calendar and the life science calendar. I only want life science to display. So to remove Mr. Wood, I go to the end of the little bar, and there's a tiny little gray triangle pointing down. When I click on it, I can then remove the calendar. Realize, though, that you can display more than one calendar here. So if you choose to create separate calendars for each of the courses that you teach, you could have three or four different calendars here, or you could just have one that has all of the events in it. Below, there are some display options in terms of, do you want to show the month, week, month, and agenda tabs? Do you want to show the calendar name? And so you have choices here of what you want to do. You can turn these on or off, um, but I'm just going to kind of leave them the way that they're configured and press Save. And so if I press Save again, my calendar has changed. It says Life Science Class. That's a good sign. Now what I want to do is I want to test that an event's actually going to appear. So I'm going to go back to my calendar tab, and I'm going to assume that this Friday my kids have a test. So I'm going to click on Friday and put in chapter test. And I want to make sure that this is going on my life science class, so I need to, from the drop down menu, choose the right calendar. It is. And right now it says it's from 8 to 9, which really I want this to be sort of all day. So I'm going to edit the event and change this to an all day event by clicking all day and pressing save. And so now if I go back to my home page here, it doesn't automatically appear. But if I refresh the page, I see that it shows up right here on the 21st. And if I click on it, it's exactly the text that I put in when I put it in when I edited it in the previous tab. So that's how you create your own calendar and put it into your teacher web page.